Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can clean up your C drive on your Windows 10 operating system. So I'm going to show you two ways in which you can clean up your C drive on your Windows 10 operating system. And these two ways are going to remove potentially unwanted files and invalid Windows registry entries from your Windows 10 operating system. So your C drive contains many files which are unwanted and you don't even know about those files on your Windows 10 operating system. So we are going to remove all these files. So let's get started. So what you need to do is you just need to go to this search option and search for PowerShell. So I'm going to search for PowerShell here and you are going to see a few options here. So just click the option which says PowerShell ISE. Okay, so I'm going to just click on PowerShell ISE, which is going to open this kind of window here. So here, what we need to do is we need to create a new file. So I'm going to just uh, click on this option, which says new script, or you can click on the new option from here also. So just click on the new option, which is going to create a new script for you. So I have already created this uh, script for you and what you need to do is you just need to click the link in the description which is the GitHub gist link in the description and you just need to copy all the code which is written here. So you can just go to the GitHub page and then click on raw here and once you see this code you just need to select all copy and then just paste it here in your PowerShell ISE terminal. Okay, so just paste this in your PowerShell ISE. Let me show you what this code is doing a little bit. So I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger so you can see in a better way. So what essentially this script is doing is it's going to just clean up your recycle bin or thrash it's going to clean up your temp directories what, wherever they are. So you can see all these temp directories. It's going to clean up all those temp directories. And then it's going to clean up your disk using this tool. Okay. So once you are done, you just need to save this file. You can just click on file and save as. Or you can just click on this save icon here. And then you can save this script on your desktop or wherever you want to save this file. So I'm going to name this file as cleanpc.ps1. So this ps1 extension is mandatory. You don't need to remove this ps1 extension. So give any name to this file and then click on save, which is going to save this file on your desktop or wherever you have saved this file. So you can see this file is saved here. So next, what you need to do is you just need to right click on this file and then run with PowerShell. Okay, so just right click on this file and then click on run with PowerShell, which is going to run this uh, script using PowerShell. And once it's done, and if you see finally now running Windows, this cleanup tool, and once you are done, it's going to close automatically for you. And you will be able to see that all your uh, recycle bin is clean, all your temp files are clean. So now hopefully your computer will function a little bit faster than earlier after running this script. So that was the first way of cleaning your C drive. Let's move to the second way in which you can clean your C drive on your Windows 10 operating system. So for the second way, we are going to install a tool called C Cleaner. So CCleaner is a utility used to clean potentially unwanted files and invalid Windows registry entries from your Windows operating system. So let's see how we can install CCleaner. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for CCleaner. And the first link which will appear here will be from ccleaner.com. So we are going to click on this link. So once this website opens, you will be able to see when you scroll down, there are two versions of CCleaner available. First is CCleaner free and other is CCleaner professional. Now, because we just need CCleaner for freeing up some space and clearing up our Windows operating system, the free version is enough for that. So you can read more about what C Cleaner free version can do here. And to download C Cleaner free version, you just need to 
scroll a little bit down and then click on download button which is going to start the download of this executable file so once this executable file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this file and minimize my browser and then just click on yes so here you can see the installer has been started so you just need to click on the install button now here on the next window i can see this optional offer which is avg antivirus free i don't want to install this additional software so i will just click on decline and it's going to start the installation of c cleaner so the installation is really fast it's going to install really fast and you can see once it's installed you will be able to see CCleaner icon on your desktop and you can launch the CCleaner after the install by just clicking on the run CCleaner button. So once the CCleaner is open, you can uh, do the health check by just clicking on this button, take my PC health check, but I'm going to just cancel this and I'm going to show how you can uh, use CCleaner. So first of all, here I can see the health check option. So I'm going to just click on uh, the next buttons here and then I'm going to just say get started and then close and analyze. So it's going to close any browser if it's opened on your Windows operating system. So just say close, which is going to close my browser and then it's going to check for the PC health. So once this health check is complete, I can see uh, the privacy option. So I have two trackers to remove. I have this much amount of uh, bytes to remove in the junk uh, space and then there are two uh, pro options which uh, will be available for the pro version. So because I have just cleaned my PC already, so it's showing so much uh, less amount of space to be removed. But in my previous uh, time when I ran this health check, it was around 500 megabyte of uh, junk file which were shown here in the space when I ran this uh, check previously, right? So in your case, you can see uh, megabytes or even GB of uh, space you can free up using this health check. So when you click on make it better, it's going to remove uh, all these uh, trackers and junk files from your Windows operating system. So mostly it's going to remove all the files from your C directory. As the name suggests, it's a C cleaner. So it's going to clean your C directory, right? Now let's move to the custom clean option. So here you can customize what you want to clean. So you can see in Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer or in your Chrome browser, you have your internet cache or internet history cookies download history and last download location, all these cache and files which are unwanted are saved in your C directory. You can also remove under Windows Explorer some uh, files and folders which are not uh, wanted. Also in your system, you can empty the recycle bin, you can remove the temporary files, you can clean the clipboard and all these things you can uh, clean up. You can check or uncheck these boxes if you don't want to remove some uh, files from here and then click on run cleaner and then click on continue which is going to just run this cleaner and then once everything is removed you will be able to go to the health check option once again and you can say start over and then just click on next option and this time you will see that the trackers or the space which needs to be removed will be around zero bytes. So you can see zero byte of junk to remove and one tracker to remove. So it will remove almost every unwanted file from your Windows operating system. In the registry option, you can remove all these registries which are there, which are unwanted from here. Also, you have the tool option. So this is a tool which you can use to uninstall programs. So for example, I want to uninstall this uh, Google Chrome from my Windows operating system. I can just select it and then click on uninstall, which is going to uninstall this program from my Windows operating system. So as I said, as the name suggests, it's going to primarily clean your C drive and it's going to make your PC little bit faster after cleaning all those potentially unwanted files and invalid windows registry entries.